What is up? We are back with another video. If you haven't seen me in the screen before, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you won't miss videos like this. Today we are doing a recap slash review on the Batty Self Reunion Part 1 and Part 2. Since I did not do um, Part 1 when it first came out, I'm just going to combine them together. Um, if you already found out what you needed to find out about Part 1 and you know you only need the recap for Part 2, there will be timestamps down below. So feel free to skip ahead, but don't be asking me questions on what happened if I said it in a video. You just going to have to figure it out. You just went out to figure it out, okay? So, part one was eventful, but y'all know how they be, you know, just throwing shit in the, like, having them talk in the beginning while they're getting ready on who they beefing with and who they plan to confront on what they, what they plan this reunion to, you know, unfold. So, they're coming down and I'm pretty sure the producers was already telling the ladies which placement they were supposed to be in, but Natalie being Natalie, want to always you know tell people will show people that she is the ceo she is the owner of this shit she is the ep she is the creator you know she is everything right so she was telling them too you know like getting your place getting your places after they was already told that so they already know and slim was like we got this we got it we know so then they get into an argument before they even came out the door and like things kind of you know break up so they can chill or whatever natalie go outside and sydney stars outside now when i seen that i knew for a fact that natalie had been telling that girl where they've been all along because me and you know me and you didn't know when the reunion was gonna be Sydney knew when it was going to be, where it was going to be, what time she needed to pull up. Like somebody's telling this girl something at this point. It must be Natalie, you know, for the ratings or whatever. So Sydney just saying like, you keep lying to me. You told me to pull up, you know, and Natalie just acting like she don't know what this girl is talking about. But ain't nobody stupid. Ain't nobody stupid. How the fuck did she find out? Come on now, y'all know, y'all know. Okay, so everybody was walking on stage, you know, doing a little walkthrough and Natalie was laughing. Stage, Natalie was like telling them to sit down and I don't, I like, I, she is a ballsy and y'all know that she cannot fight. So I don't know what it is, but it's, it's weird. So Trina say that Krishan is her favorite. I mean, she was like mostly everybody favorite. Like it was some shit that you probably disliked about her, but she was the most entertaining on the show. So she was, you know, everybody fan favorite. So they're showing this little clip and Natalie, I don't know, like I'm pretty sure she had a, a few to drink before she got up there, you know, that liquid courage. So she tried to run up on Rolly, put her foot out and try to kick her. I don't know. I think she was trying to be like Jocelyn, how she was when she kicked the fuck out of Amber, but it didn't work out like that. Cause Rolly bounced her ass back and she failed right there. like. Like at this point, you're you're embarrassing yourself. Go sit back down and we're gonna try this again later. We're gonna try this again later, but no. They start fighting. They see, you know, Slim in the fight. Christian like, why are you jumping? And start swinging on Slim. So then everything break up. Natalie run up on Slim. And then Scotty like, y'all not gonna jump my bitch. Y'all already know how she sound. Y'all know, y'all know I had that impression down pat. So Rolly smacked the fuck out of her. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all already seen the clip, you know, before coming to this video. So I'm pretty sure y'all already know Rolly smacked the fuck. Like, it sounded like a punch. She smacked her so fucking hard. So in the cliffhangers, Krishan ran up on Slam. Krishan ran up on Persuasion and then it went off. So now we're getting to reunion part two. So Slim, I don't like y'all. Y'all have seen Slim when, you know, she in her little rage when she, you know, just got done fighting, but she not through fighting, she finna tear some shit up. Like y'all seen her when she was fighting, uh, you know, Rock, like she was just, you know, just. So she is in the midst of tearing the stage up. And y'all know how Natalie get when she embarrassed, when she didn't got beat the fuck up. She had a black eye, Krishan kept pointing it out. So she started to leave. Like y'all know how she get when she get embarrassed. She left when she fought Rolly in the house. Now she leaving because she then got fucking embarrassed in her iPad. 
So as she leaving, Sydney outside being fucking irritating. Like I'm not gonna keep on, you know, telling y'all what Sydney's saying. Cause it's, it's a whole bunch of nonsense. Like we already know. We knew Natalie brought you. So that's basically what she's saying. Like you said I was gonna be on the couch with y'all. So I guess somebody talked Natalie into coming back in. So she like, um, you is gonna be on the couch with us. We just got on the stage, da da da. Confirmation that they haven't talking about the reunion before the reunion, but you wanna act all brand new when she actually show up to the reunion. Keep it, girl. I know how I really get when she in the midst of a fight with somebody and an argument with somebody, she gonna spill whatever the fuck you didn't told her. So she said that Scotty ate Natalie out. I ain't never known really to lie. I don't know really like that, but I ain't never known how to lie. Plus, if y'all had already seen Natalie and Scotty pics on Reddit, it that's very believable. I wouldn't be surprised if it was true. So Natalie, like Natalie outside, you know, doing her little gangster shit, like she. She is talking to Rolly, but Rolly's still in the studio. I don't know, I guess it's just the, the liquor talking. I can give her a pass for that because it's just the liquor talking. But she do it all the fucking time. Like, she be talking to nobody. So, Scotty finally run up on Rolly successfully. I don't know, I just didn't feel like Rolly felt that shit. But at least Scotty got a few licks in because she felt like she kept being snaked and shit. So, y'all know, Krishan. I keep saying y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. Y'all been with me during this whole journey y'all already know how i feel about all these ladies and we all know how these ladies is so y'all know when Krishan see a fight she want to fight so she just ran up on slim out the blue y'all knew it was coming don't act like y'all surprised y'all knew it was coming so she ran up on slim as soon as she ran up on slim like her wig got you know lifted back a little bit so she you know went in the bag got fixed up got her chains taken off or whatever and then she came back everybody thinks she cool I don't know why she ran up on Slim again. So they trying to calm her down, talk to her, like, you know, actually ask her questions and shit. And she was saying, like, if she didn't have Jayla on the show, she would have felt alone. And she was really going through shit in the house and all these girls, you know, had a problem with her. And she was getting emotional and stuff. And it was mainly, y'all know, y'all know, y'all just get to spilling shit when y'all drunk, so. So, Natalie... I, I told y'all how I was fat. It gets worse. Like it started to actually, you know, swell up, get red. Like it's like, like, like this and like red and like puffed up right here type shit. And she was saying like, that bitch stuck me. Like, I don't know who she thought snuck her, but she wasn't winning a fight if she didn't get snuck. You know, like you ran up on Rolly. And I don't think that you know who really hit you, but you want to have an excuse for why you got to be like, ah, like acting like, you know, you wasn't winning the fight. No matter who gave you that black eye, you was not winning the fight. So Natalie is taking drink after drink after drink. And you know she is talking like crazy. Like, you know, the liquid courage is coming in. So Scotty in the bag because she had hit Rolly or whatever. And Natalie like... I guess Natalie didn't think that Scotty ran up fast enough for her. So Natalie, I'm sure if she was sober, she wouldn't have said this, but she just started talking at Scotty like a little too much. And Scotty like got fed up with it. So, you know, they squash it, they come back out. And then they was in the midst of accent persuasion. Like, what was that that happened with Krishan? Did you really sleep with blue face? I mean, she didn't deny it, but then she, she didn't say that it really, really happened. So... I don't, I really don't know how to feel about that. Why y'all don't think that she confirmed it or denied it? Because I don't want to say that she was scared because she was like, you know, in Krishan's face and know that Krishan was, you know, jumping on everybody. But do y'all think it was true? Like I was saying when it came out, I didn't really think it was true. But soon after that, Krishan ran up on Persuasion. I feel like Brie knew that Krishan was going to end up running up on Persuasion because Brie just moved out the blue. And I, I was thinking like... Okay, she's going to check on Slim because Slim just got ran up on twice. But then I looked at the couch that Persuasion was on and she was on there by herself. So I'm like, okay, yeah, she trying to, she trying to, you know, not get hit in the process of Krishan running up. Y'all know if she was going to fight Slim, she damn sure was going to fight Persuasion again. Now also with that, she was, you know, like putting heavy implication on the fact that she's going to speak to hurt you. Like she knew, like she just said this. Because what hurt you. Not because she wanted you to know. She said it because it will hurt you. Not it coming from her. It will hurt you. So let me know, do you think like it really, really, really happened? I mean, it could have happened. Y'all see what the fuck he out here doing. It could have happened. But do y'all think it really happened? Was she just saying it to fuck with him more? You know, to feel like 
she won in this situation i feel like you get what i'm saying let me know what you think about that in the comments let me know if y'all think that any of these cast members is doing too much let me know if you think that natalie did invite sydney like it's it's nine times out of ten that she invited sydney do y'all think krishan should keep on running up on slam what do y'all think what some of the controversial things that happened during this what do y'all think do y'all think that Scotty did that to Natalie? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. It's been your girl Medusa Ali and that is it for this video.